based on a recent report, there are more people developing autoimmune diseases than people getting cancer and heart attacks combined. It's a huge problem with the solution giving you a lot of side effects as in prednisone. So there really at this moment is not a good medical solution, but I'm gonna reveal the absolute best treatment for all autoimmune diseases. And if you've never seen this treatment, boy, you need to know about it because it can greatly improve your life. And the cool thing about it is it has virtually no side effects as compared to the treatment for autoimmune diseases. There are massive side effects, okay? It's just terrible because over time, you develop a resistance to it. It ends up not working. And now what do you do? It's a situation. Number two, everyone can completely afford this treatment, okay? It's very inexpensive. So that's some good news. Number three, and this is huge, it can actually reverse the immune attack. I mean, think about what an autoimmune disease is. It's your own immune system that's attacking your own tissues. I mean, that's crazy. So this treatment can actually reverse that situation. Number four, it's scientifically proven to reduce the severity of your symptoms. And I'm mainly talking about inflammation as the big one. How can your thyroid gland or your spleen or your tissues ever function when there's constant inflammation going on? In fact, it increases the risk of getting insulin resistance. It increases your risk of getting cancer. It puts you in a condition where you have to constantly take something for it, like medication, which then have other side effects. So there's some hardcore data that shows that it can decrease interleukin-17 T cells. Now, what is that? That is something as a part of your immune system that causes inflammation. And this treatment I'm going to show you will lower that, okay? So your inflammation will go down. This treatment even has the ability to reprogram your immune cells. So it's not just about giving you some symptomatic relief. It's about reprogramming your entire immune system, which is very exciting. Number five, it can increase hemopoietic stem cells. Now, what does hemopoietic mean? Well, this relates to the bone marrow and the blood in your bone marrow that is making what's called stem cells, which is really these undefined basic cells that have the ability to turn into whatever cells that you need. So we have the stem cell reserve that's very, very important in the reparative action. And people even get stem cell therapy right now for all sorts of uh, conditions and diseases, and it's an incredible therapy. But this treatment I'm going to reveal to you will increase your body's ability to make stem cells. So you can basically repair and rebuild your immune system. And so the solution has to be an improvement and strengthening of your immune system versus the current treatment, which is just the suppression of your immune system, which does not repair it. And number six, this treatment is going to decrease the need for medications. Number seven, which kind of relates to some of the other ones, it will give you a potent immune controlling effect, especially for rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, MS, all sorts of skin autoimmune conditions like psoriasis. And then you have the autoimmune conditions of your thyroid, like Graves' disease or Hashimoto's. And then we have one for the adrenals called Addison's disease. So it's going to greatly put control back into your immune system. Number eight, it has the potential to increase the quantity and diversity of your microbiome. And the microbiome is basically 80% of your immune system. So that right there can be a huge influence to help you as well. And number nine, this treatment will give you regenerative effects on your tissues. But in addition to all of this, it can also help you kill cancer cells, which is a nice little side benefit. It can help make you more intelligent. It can improve your cognitive function. It can improve your mood to bring you up. It can help also fix your metabolism. But other than that, there's really no other benefits, okay? I'm being very sarcastic. This is what it is. Fasting, wow, there you have it, surprise. Now, what I thought was kind of funny in some of the studies that I read, um, they mentioned that, wow, you get these great results when you're fasting, but then when you start eating, you lose some of these fasting benefits. But what if you just practiced routine 
regular intermittent fasting, okay? Well, that might work because the benefits for your immune system actually can occur over a period of hours of fasting. I mean, you can get immune benefits from doing 18 hours of fasting. But what I would recommend, if I were you, and I had an autoimmune disease, is I would recommend OMAD, one meal a day on a regular basis, okay? And have a huge meal. But that would give you 23 hours of fasting, which would be huge, okay? Now, at the very minimum, I would do 20 hours of fasting and then just a four-hour eating window. So let's say your first meal was at 12 noon, and then your second meal was at four, okay? Or your first meal is at two, and your second meal would be at six o'clock. I mean, at the very minimum, do this. But if you can do that, that would be better. And do this on a regular basis. That alone will produce huge effects on your immune system. And number two, interject regular or routine prolonged fasting, okay? And I'm talking 48 to 120 hours. That's fasting for two days to five days on a regular basis. And I would recommend the 48-hour fast every one to two weeks. That is something that's doable for most people, and it will give you huge effects on your immune system if you're combining both of these. Now, depending on your discipline and your severity of symptoms, you might want to add a five-day fast once you get used to this, okay? Once you feel better, maybe you do that once a month, but that would be huge in your recovery. The cool thing about fasting is you lose your appetite, so it makes it very easy to do because if you had to be starving all the time and hungry and craving and doing this, it would be torture, okay? But that's why I'm bringing up this next section right here. What I'm describing here is called time-restrictive eating, okay? You're doing this regular routine fast where you're not eating for a while and then you're eating, okay, on a daily basis. But there's also different types of fasting patterns like the alternative day fasting, which I don't recommend. Like you fast one day, but then you eat the next day. You fast one day, but you eat the next day. The problem with that is you never fully adapt to the state of ketosis. And so you are hungry constantly and you're craving on the days that you're fasting. That's like very difficult to do. And then you have the five and two diet, which is even worse, where you're pretty much eating what you want for five days. And then for two days, you're fasting or you're eating, I think, 500 calories, which you never really adapt. And so I don't like this either because it's difficult to do because you, you're going to still have your cravings. You're still going to be hungry. There's also calorie restriction, which you're kind of mimicking fasting by reducing the calories to like 500 calories a day. Um, honestly, I don't like that either because it's not a true fast. It's mimicking your fasting. And yes, there's benefits for sure. Okay, there's scientific data that states that it works. But again, if you start eating a little bit of food, that alone is gonna stimulate hunger and you're gonna to wanna to eat more. It's not until you completely just stop eating until your body gets into a state where the hunger just completely goes away. So I'm going to recommend time-restrictive eating. Now, there's two very important videos to watch next. One, maybe you already watched before, and that is on the underlying causes of autoimmune diseases, and I'm going to put that down below. But the other one would be just on how to do fasting, okay? And I put that up right here. Check it out.